everybody, welcome to Camping with Steve. Um, I figured it was time to hit the highway looking for adventure or whatever comes our way. I don't know where I'm going, but I know where I'm sleeping. So I got the back of this set up and just kind of going to let the road guide us today. And uh, within the next couple of hours, we'll find a spot, grab some grub. I'm headed west because the only thing east of my area is farmland and there's not a lot of good spots to park and camp in that area. Ah, the first glimpse of the Rocky Mountains. I'm looking for little spots on the side of the road where I might be able to hide the car. Uh, I think that would be kind of fun. Ah, time to get something simple but delicious that I can cook in the car. Wow. All right, got everything we need there. I didn't see any good looking spots that I'd trust driving my car into on the side of the road. So we're gonna look around a little bit more, see what we can find. Worst comes to worst, we could pretend to be an RV. Um, the golden years of parking and parking lots or being allowed to, pretty much gone. Um, with the explosion in van life, a lot of the Walmarts and stuff have stopped allowing overnight parking, but I've got at least one possibility here if we can't find anything better. Ah, <laughs> good old Walmart. Uh, they are allowing boondockers, and this looks like a boondocking world championship here. Wouldn't try this uh, anywhere else but here, because Edmonton, uh, they don't allow it in most of them. Don't even think about it uh, closer into the mountains, but this is like an anomaly. Um, I'm very pleased. Oh, well, there's a police presence around here. unmarked cruiser just perusing through. So if I decide to get cheeky and camp here, I might set up a tailgate tarp tent um, and, uh, and hunker down for the night. But we'll drive a little further out of town and see if there's anything more picturesque than a Walmart parking lot. Definitely looks nicer here, but I'm not seeing anywhere that I'd trust I can pull over uh, into the woods. It looks a little marshy and there are actually some pretty rough quad trails going along on the side. So I'll get to the national park boundary and uh, turn around if I can't find anything. Well, there's a rest area and it looks picturesque. I don't know if I'm allowed to park here overnight, but we'll check for signs because this looks like a good possibility. This is way better than Walmart. There's washrooms here. I'm not self-contained in this little camping setup, so the washroom's a priority. Um, Perfect. I see nothing about parking here overnight, and I'm, I always see big trucks kind of parked. I don't know if they stay overnight or not, but we might see some tonight. Hey, a little bit of history about the whole place. Roads were a little rough back in the day. I'm satisfied. This will work. Right on. It'll be cozy. And uh, yeah, I got a tarp. We'll hang the tarp out here so we got a little more room to sit and relax. Windy. I was too tired to drive, officer. That's the story.
I can think of one reason right now that this won't work. Well, I hope the wind dies down a little. Uh, I think the tarp might be a bit small, but we're flying by the seat of our pants today, guys. No script, no plan. Just kind of chilling on the side of the highway. I need some rope, and I didn't bring any. So, I'm gonna zip into town, grab some rope, so we can rig this up. My productivity backfired on me a little bit because this car is normally so full of camping gear, it looks like the hoarder car of the century. And I cleaned it out so I could uh, camp in here. But all those little things that I normally have in here are not in the car. I got bear spray though, so that's good because we are in Baratory. Rope. And we're back here and some friends have showed up. Got some of these wheels for a model mining cart. They'll make good weight. This is relatively cozy. It's gonna be a loud night though. And I don't know if I'm gonna actually keep this open for the night because uh, it's loud. The other trucks here have parked kind of on the shoulder. Uh, I, I'm guessing they're here overnight. So I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna move the car over a little bit uh, just to be out of the way as much as possible. I brought the rice cooker in the Jackery so I can steam some pre-cooked smoked sausages and then just chow down. I'm not going to cook in here though because it is bear territory and I don't want to cook in here. I just get rid of the onion smell. I don't need it to smell like a hot dog factory. Okay, cooking. I know some people probably stumbled onto this channel and right now you're wondering why am I watching this? Um, I can't offer any insight. Uh, I don't even know why I'm doing this. <laughs> Adventure, I guess. Doing something different. Out of the ordinary. Breaking routine. Who needs a campground, right? Well, free smoked sausages for me. I really do like these rice cookers because I can cook them on the Jackery. It's got like, uh, what is this drawing? 400 watts of power when it's cooking and then it goes into the warm mode and it keeps stuff warm. I can steam my buns on there and everything. Oh yeah, let's let these cook. Alright, this is pretty spacious. I like it. Um, this will do just great. I'm gonna mess around and see if I can get this light to turn off because otherwise my battery is gonna be dead in the morning. So I may have to actually shut this at night. We'll find out. Uh, of course the worst thing I could do here is crack a beer in care and control of a vehicle on the side of a highway. So, today's step two is clearly Canadian. Um, it's a sparkling water beverage, uh, which is a euphemism for pop uh, with natural flavors like fruit juices. So, oh boy. Extra fizzy. This one's raspberry. Tastes like it's got just as much sugar as normal pop, so sparkling water though. I'm gonna get some buns steaming. I'm gonna put them in these uh, little foil pouchy things because uh, they get too soggy if you just leave them in there. Only room for a couple at a time. Right on, that guy's idle has gone way down. Much more uh, relaxing. Mustard and sauerkraut is what this is all about. They really gotta fix these uh, street lights here. They keep going on and off. I know folks are trying to sleep here, but if it was either steady on or steady off, it would probably be easier to contend with. 
started putting the uh, toppings underneath and then it doesn't get my mustache. Life hack. Mm-hmm. Somebody else pulling in, we got more company. The wind's picking back up again. That does not bode well for me. This has got to be one of the strangest, oddly cozy feelings in the world. Huh. A, uh, an RV has showed up. And uh, that's good. I'm not the only non-truck vehicle here. But the wind is really getting out of control. I'm scared the tarp is going to fly off. Uh, the good news is that cargo light turned off. I think it has a time limit and then it just shuts itself off so you don't kill your battery. But uh, I may have to dig out the spare tire to get a little more weight on this tarp so it doesn't blow off. Okay. It's uh. It's late enough, I don't want to wrestle with this too much more, so I'm going to see if I can close this back hatch a little bit so it's not flapping around, and then get ready to sleep. Okay, that kind of does it. Good, good. Okay, now I'm just going to get organized, and uh, it's going to be sleep time. Awesome. Cozy as ever. Little white noise of the highway to lull me asleep. And uh, I got this really cushy mattress. It's this Woods Comfort Max thing available at Canadian Tire. Uh, they don't seem to sell them anywhere but Canadian Tire. But I had to put this one kind of diagonally because it's longer than most and comfier than most. So I'm hoping to have a really good sleep. Um, heads up that I've got a few reports that there's kind of a scam using my name going around, people claiming that they've been, uh, uh, that they won a prize and then there's like massive shipping um, costs to get the prize. I'm not doing any type of prize things like that and uh, if I do, uh, you'll hear about it on the channel, but I don't randomly spam or message people um, for promotions or that type of thing, but it is a good idea to have some contests. so. I might do that, but you'll hear about it here, and not uh, not uh, over direct messages on social media or anything like that. But anyway, um, get what little sleep I can here. It is uh, time to hunger down, my friends. See you in the morning. Good morning, that was a pretty good sleep actually, despite all the noise. There was one point I grabbed my bear spray, I thought for sure there was this huge fight happening outside. Uh, was guys screaming, get back here, don't walk away from me. And he's losing it, right? Like, get over here. Uh, but he was talking to his dog, I realized later on. I thought it was like a, a domestic uh, dispute that was unfolding in front of me. Um, but it was really nice to realize that it was just a a curious dog running away uh, into the woods on the side of the road. So, yeah, no, that was a really good, um, really good sleep. So I'm going to, let's see who's behind me there. Just one truck. Uh, the rest of the place looks pretty, uh, pretty empty this morning. So that's good. Um, and uh, temperature was great, but I'm going to crawl out of here. And uh, actually, I'll just kick the back door open. It's the easiest way out of here. Just take this all down, load her back in. I think with a custom made tarp, this would be a really easy, quick uh, type of setup, but hey, it's pretty quick and easy, I suppose. We'll be packed up and out of here in no time.
oh, a short little road trip. That really feeds my need for a longer road trip. So um, I have to thank the uh, supporters of the channel. Thank you to everybody who's watched and left a kind comment. Um, I was a little under the weather uh, last week. I don't know, maybe I should have cooked that steak a little bit better on the last video. <laughs> but um, with camping and especially stealth camping in strange places, uh, there's certain times you have to be close to a bathroom and that's all I'll elaborate on that. So I had gone out um, actually the last two days before I did this video I was out trying to film another one and uh, it was more of an experiment video. I'm trying to see if something is going to work with the bus. I don't want to give too much away but I'm going to try it again. I've got, of course, there's like a half a video filmed and then things didn't work out. And I, I'm i trying out something that I really want to work. So i got to figure out how to make it work. And um, I'll just leave it at that. So we're going to be uh, revisiting that. Uh, i got a whole bunch of stealth spots um, that I've just found very recently that I'll be digging into. So uh, thank you all for your patience with me. Uh, thanks for watching. I know this is uh, one of those videos that's, you know, what was that? I just camped on the side of the road somewhere, but uh, it's uh, it's good for me to be able to get out and do those things because we've been around home for quite a while now in the area because we have to deal with, uh, you know, some architects and stuff like that. So I can't travel too far and even just a little day trip like that made me realize, you know, I get stagnant around home and the ideas don't flow as freely. I find it's too much of a uh, too much of a jolt between staying at home and then being out camping. And it really takes a day or two on the road before you're immersed in it again. And when I'm at home and I go out to try and film a, a video, then it's you know suddenly it's it's too much of a shift in mindset, I suppose. And, um, you know, of course, with, with not being well, it is the type of thing where it shows through in the videos. If I'm holding it together but running off camera to use the bathroom or whatever, uh, if I'm in pain, then it's not going to be a good video. Uh, then, you know, people will say, why are you even doing this? This seems forced. So uh, I do appreciate your patience waiting for me there. I try to get uh, notices up. Um, as things go, but you know, if I'm laying in bed all day, I, I'm really not in the mood to stay engaged on social media all the time. So, um, thank you all. We'll see you next week, and uh, we've got um, something coming up here. I'm going stealth camping with a group of people. Uh, they're actually um, going to be here in a week or so, and they're interested in filming a little bit of a documentary about the stealth camping and stuff. They're going to come by the acreage. So we're going to have a me and a little bit of a crew sneaking into the, the woods somewhere to go camp. So that's, uh, I'll let you guys know that that's coming up. And uh, thanks again. We'll see you next week.